The Echo Leahy Center in Burlington has welcomed Ted Lawson as its new executive director. He's in his second week on the job and joins us now. Thanks for being here. Congratulations on the new gig. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. So you were previously the executive director of the Duxbury Bay Maritime School in Massachusetts. Talk about why you wanted to come to Echo. Well, uh, as soon as I learned about the, the role at Echo and the opportunity, uh, potential opportunity for me, um, I was thrilled at, at a, a chance to again be involved in uh, environmental and science education, um, working for a, an institution that was really sort of a heart and big piece of a community. Um, loved being on the water, the fact that it's on the waterfront of Lake Champlain, DBMS uh, was on the waterfront in southern Massachusetts. Uh, a lot of parallels between the two organizations, but uh, the opportunity to, to work for an institution that cares a lot about science and education and the environment was really spoke to me. Now you mentioned it's on the water and that appeals to you. You spent the last, how long was it, two years? Yes. Sailing around the world with your family. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, we, we, it was a dream that my wife and I had had for a long time, and uh, we, uh, so the stars aligned. We, we both stepped away from our careers. Our kids were at the right age. We have three kids. Uh, that The oldest wasn't ready to no longer be hanging out with us, and the youngest was <laughs> old enough that we wouldn't have to worry about him falling off the boat all the time, and uh, so we took off on a two-year adventure and um, had a f front row seats at some incredible experiences uh, in nature and meeting really wonderful people. and. Uh, so that concluded in New Zealand, and and uh, and we're very excited to now be here in Vermont. <laughs> Getting used to land life again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you did also uh, spend a decade as a high school, middle school teacher. How did that prepare you for taking a position as a uh, leader of an organization that, as you mentioned, is devoted to education? Yeah, well, uh, my career started uh, in the science classroom, and uh, I sort of always uh, think of myself first and foremost as a science teacher. Um, and I, I started my career in Maine, uh, had incredible experiences at a school in Maine, and then we worked overseas in, in India uh, for three years. Uh, and I just to be able to connect with kids doing hands-on investigations, learning about science is just something I get very excited about. Uh, and so, you know, the fact that ECHO is so focused on STEM education really excites me. Now, what are your goals then for the future of ECHO? Yeah, so uh, continuing to expand our reach, um, finding uh, more areas of the demographic that uh, could use programming and opportunities that ECHO can offer, continue to open the doors to as many people as we can, and try to educate and excite the next generation about science and, and the environment. And you were a successful fundraiser in um, Duxbury's. So you secured a million dollar grant at, for there. Will you be able to do the same here? Because I know most organizations tend to rely on things like that. Well, I sure hope so. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the team that surrounds me at, at ECHO, both on the board and at the staff level. Um, really dedicated individuals who are well connected in this community, and uh, this community certainly knows how important that organization is. Uh, and so I'm, I'm optimistic that we can continue to, to find ways to, to fund the important programming that we do. Well, again, congratulations on the new role. We'll look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you so much.